So now, here we created the schematic, but we need to create a power supply. Here we have plus 5, but what about the power supply for this one? To create a power supply, it's very simple. We need to create a voltage regulator. I mean, we need to select a voltage regulator. So go to add parts, then go to VREC. We have voltage regulators down right here. Excuse me. Mm, yeah, here. Go to VREC, voltage regulators. In this voltage regulators, there are many types. The one which I want to use is this one. It's a simple voltage regulator. Click on it. Okay. And always create a power supply unit or a battery supply unit always to the left of the PCB. You know, the schematic board left on top so that you guys know where it is. So click here, then escape. Now, we need is a capacitor and we have capacitors right here. We need ground ground we have right here, but we need is a power supply. Here we are getting output of 5 volts, but the input is going to be 9 or 12 volts, whatever we can use it. So for that, let's go to supply here, right here, but we can select right here. But why? No, we can select is a DC jack. What does a DC jack do is we can just plug it in and connect it to our AC supply and we get a DC voltage of constant 9 volts or 12 volts, which can be voltage, I mean, regulated down to 5 volts. That's amazing. For that, just go to con and search con jack. Here we found it. In con jack, we have DC power jacks. So these are the DC female jacks. So go here, move this component right here and place it right here. That's it enough. Click cancel. Now, fit the screen. We need is two caps for the input and output. Okay. One capacitor goes right here. Okay. Another capacitor just goes right over. Yeah, we can just place it right here. Or not, I don't want to copy more. Uh, now select the copy and we need a ground. Place one ground under this cap, then ground and uh, under this one. Uh, ground for other capacitor, then ground for other DC jack. I'll show you why, why I selected all of these. Now, let me start wiring the circuit. So once I come here and zoom in, move right here. How this to be connected is the GC jack one, pin one goes to the input of the voltage regulator. All right. The DC jacks pin number two and pin number three are internally connected. All right, you can see over here, we have to connect them externally also when we are doing it. So let me, you know, just move this capacitor a little bit. Yeah, and this ground too. And this ground right here. Now go to wiring again, wire, then select this, connect this. Yes, I want to connect that to the ground. Now escape this, goes to this. This goes to this. We are, if there is any fluctuation, the capacitor take care of that, no worries. Then for this, we connect this. Same for the output too. Output, yep, and connected. Then connect this to a ground, that's it. Now you may be saying, okay, Rafi, you're giving constant supply, but what about the voltage, output voltage, right? It gives, VREC gives us a constant output voltage, but we don't have something to give us output. Now we have it right here. We need five volts. We need to show, say, say the device that give us only five volts, right? So let's go again to copy, select the component, place it right here. Now go to wiring again, select the wire and place it right here. See, merge net segment n dollar five or n symbol five into supply net plus five. Yes, I want to merge that. Click yes. Now escape. Now this is a complete schematic, but is it connected? Go to Y, click on the wire, the five volts. If you guys can see over here, it is even connected over here and it's even connected over here. What about the grounds? Click on the ground. You can see all the grounds are illuminated. They are lit. So here, here, simple. So this is how you can check if the connection is made or no between the components other wires connected. This is how simple you can connect a schematic and create a power supply or your own power unit for a schematic of any board. Now, in the next video, we are going to learn about a board view, how to create a board view of the schematic which we just created. All right. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys want to see next, which review of a vehicle you want to see next. And after this series, I'm going to start a series on RTM PCB designing software. Altium is an industrial level PCB design software. There we are going to use four to six layers to create a PCB of a microcontroller. That's going to be amazing. So 
for that you need to subscribe to the channel right now and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching